Hi guys, it's David Shing. I'm one of the Creative Cat Today Well, Here's what's interesting. I'm literally just walking through the office and the auto blog cats just grabbed me and said, hey, would you like to talk about some technology and how it intersects with auto? So here's the thing. I'm just gonna riff and let's talk about what we think might be happening. Heads up display. Wouldn't that be incredible if it actually gave me more of an augmented experience as opposed to, hey, this is how fast you're driving and this is the radio station you're switching to. So literally turn by turn directions. It has a ways to go so it doesn't interrupt the driving experience, but that'd be pretty amazing is one thing. The second thing is clearly 3D printing as opposed to printing a whole car, integrate the 3D printing technology to make my car more personalized, hyper-personalized, as opposed to going through and trying to customize the car before I buy it. And it'd be also interesting to think about what product designers can do in terms of just prototyping stuff much faster and more effectively and perhaps even more efficiently. The other thing that I think is quite interesting is around the idea of wearables. Should I actually even bother using a key? Shall it read my eyes? Will it be thumbprint technology on the steering wheel to start the car? All of those biometrics and technologies that allow me to go away from what we're seeing in you know, sensor-plated technologies and on the wrist into the actual driving experience will be really interesting to see how that actually plays out. Driving the car, now that's interesting, isn't it? So this is a, a fascinating subject. So we've got the auto drive car. Now what's happening about that I think would be great in my day-to-day -day commute. Perhaps I would rather a auto drive car that allows me to continue my experience from home in the commute to the office to the commute to the home. So all of it's contiguous as opposed to interruptive experience which is driving. Maybe the driving experience is something that I reserve for my weekends. So I don't think we're going to see it separated. I still think people still need to interact with driving because there's something so passionate about driving a car that's so beautiful that won't go away. But this auto driving experience does allow people to be able to have the ability to sort of sustain something that could be fatigue based into something that's more experiential because the car's taken care of it and I can get on with my day. Could be cool the connected home and all those experiences, wouldn't it be incredible if we spoke less about just eco cars and green cars, but make them fully green where they're powered by solar, or there's less emissions in terms of what's happening with the radiation of the batteries and all that sort of technology, I suspect, or can the home charge the car? So the ability to say, hey, the house is connected to the car, which is connected to the greater grid, and all of that stuff becomes really effective. Maybe that'd be really interesting. Maybe these ideas are naff, I don't know. I just decided to freestyle and walk past and that was a curse of walking past the video room for Autoblog. <laughs>